Today I will talk about two different PC builds for less than $1500. The first one is going to be dedicated for gaming, especially at the high end 1440p, but also you can game at 4k, and the second PC is dedicated towards productivity, so if you are into video editing or into any software or application that requires more CPU, the second PC is going to be better for you. Now this doesn't mean that the gaming one is not good for productivity work and also that the productivity work is not good for gaming. Both are great for both things but the gaming one is going to be better for gaming and the productivity one is going to be better for productivity work. Without further ado, let's start. First, we are going to start with the gaming one. For the CPU, I decided to go with the Ryzen 5 5600. Now, if you want to go for Intel, go for the i5 12400 which is going to be really similar in terms of performance. I decided to go with Ryzen mainly because of the motherboard since it supports more CPUs than the latest 12th gen Intel motherboards so that's the main reason but if you want to go for Intel the performance is going to be really similar so feel free to change the CPU. Anyway the 5600 or the i5 12400 are definitely more than enough for 1440p and even 4k gaming. For the CPU cooler I picked the Hyper 212 Evo Black RGB edition. This one is pretty nice and either the i5 12400 or the Ryzen 5 5600 both don't require a high-end CPU cooler so you can get away with this one and your temperatures for the CPU are going to be perfect. For the motherboard I decided to go with the ASUS TUF Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. Now if you are going to be connected with an internet cable then you may want to spend less on a motherboard but I did went with a Wi-Fi one in case you will need the Wi-Fi feature. With the memory kit, I decided to went with the Corsair RGB Pro 16GB of RAM 2x8 at 3200MHz CL16 memory. This is all that we are going to need for our gaming desktop. Now, if you want to go even farther, I would recommend going with 3600MHz and CL16 memory, not CL18, because you are not going to notice any difference for gaming between CL16 3200MHz and CL18 3600MHz. And I decided to go with this kit mainly because of the RGB, but you can also save up some money if you don't want RGB be in your build. Then for the storage I decided to go with the Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte of M.2 NVMe SSD. This is the bare minimum that you should get right now on the market. You can go with 2 terabyte. I would recommend you going with 2 terabyte instead of 1 but it really depends on the games that you want to download and if you're also going to do video editing or not because if you're also going to do video editing and productivity work then you will definitely need more than 1 terabyte but if you don't then 1 terabyte should be enough. Then for the graphics card, I decided to go with the ASUS RTX 3070 Ti. Now, if you're going for 4K gaming, a 3080 is going to be better, but this video is about a $1,500 PC build. If you want to go over the budget limit, 3080 is going to be a much better option for 4K, but if you're just going for 1440p or even 1080p, this one is going to be way more than enough, but if you're going for 1080p, I would even recommend you going for a GPU that's way cheaper than this one, like the 6600 XT. Then for the case, I went with the Lian Li Lang. 205 mesh. This one already comes with three fans pre installed and it has a front mesh panel, so the airflow overall for this PC is going to be great. And last but not least, for the power supply, I went with the AVGA 850 watt 80 plus 35 gold power supply. Now, this is totally overkill for this PC build, but if you want to do some heavy upgrades down the line, I think that this power supply is worth the price. So, those were the components. The total price for this PC is $1,472 with 93 cents, so you have around 30 bucks to spend so it's even under 1500 dollars like i said this is the gaming pc so if you're going to do mainly gaming especially at 1440p this one it's all that you're going to need even at the highest settings on the highest end video games but before buying anything, I recommend you doing your research and searching for the Ryzen 5 5600 RTX 3070 Ti combination on YouTube for a benchmark video to see if it's going to run your favorite game at your desired frame rate. With that being said, let's continue with the productivity work one. With the productivity work one, I decided to go with the i5 2600K, so yes, I went with Intel, and mainly because this CPU is the best in terms of price to performance right now on the market, and it's going to be great for any kind of productivity work, such as video editing or 3D rendering, you get a great processor, and even for gaming, this one is way more than enough, you definitely don't need the i7 12700K, I think that that one is a totally overkill unless you are a professional. 
Then for the CPU cooler, you will need a better CPU cooler than the i5-12400, so I decided to put the NRMAX 3, this one is a 240 all in one liquid cooler and it's going to keep that CPU cool down. For the motherboard, I went with the ASUS Prime 3690 plus Wi-Fi motherboard. Once again, if you're not going to use Wi-Fi, you might get away with a cheaper motherboard. And I decided to go with a 3691 because the audio here is way better and that is something really important, especially for video editing. And for productivity work, you will need more than 16 gigs of RAM if you want to feel comfortable. So I decided to go with the Corsair 32 gigs kit. This one is 2 by 16 gigs, so it's well channel. It's also DDR4, a 3600MHz CL16 memory, definitely a great kit. It also has that beautiful RGB for the aesthetics. And with this RAM, you will be able to run any program that you want and also have a bunch of tasks open. For gaming though, it has no extra performance between 16 gigs and this kit. Then for the storage, I went with the Samsung 970 EVO Plus 2TB of M.2 SSD. Now, you can go with Gen 4 SSD, especially for productivity work, but I don't think it's worth the price. You will notice a huge difference unless, once again, you're a professional and you're working with really heavy files and you have to transfer them from one PC to another and you need to do it really fast. But for most people, Gen 3 SSD is still great and it's not overpriced like Gen 4. Then for the GPU, I went with the RX 6650 XT, this one is the newest one, it's really similar in performance to the RTX 3060 Ti and it's around $150 less, so that's something to keep in mind when you're buying a GPU. Like I said before, this one is great, even at 1440p, I wouldn't recommend this GPU for 4K gaming if you want the highest frame rate, of course it's going to be capable of 4K depending on the games that you're going to play, but I recommend you this GPU either for 1080p or 1440p, although for 1080 I would go with the RX 6600 or the RTX 3060 and save up some money because I think that this GPU is a totally overkill for even 1080p. Then for the case I went with the same one, the Langhul 205 mesh and the power supply I decided to change it and go with the 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply because this PC needs less power since it's not going to be for gaming. But you can go with the 850 watt one that the other PC has if you want more upgradability for the future. The total price for this PC it's around 1466 bucks, really similar to the last one but the other one is going to be better for gaming and this one is going to be better for those productivity apps. With that being said I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was please hit the like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button. If you want to see a video about private PCs I have a bunch of them. I will leave one in the top right of the screen talking about the best private gaming PCs of the month that I think that you should check out if you're looking for a private PC instead of a PC build because maybe you don't want to build it by yourself and it's totally understandable. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.